So today we are going to be doing a video on this lip look, or look really based off of a lip color. Um, I'm using my favorite personal pink lipstick. I'm not a big pink girl, but every time I wear this color, um, I just feel awesome. It is the Rabbit by ColourPop. And this is just kind of how, if I know I want to do like a bright pink lip that's cool toned, this is how I do a look around it that I feel like is complimentary to it, but still left lets the lip be the center of attention. Um, I'm just going to show you quickly in the tutorial how I put all of this together, but essentially what I did is I did a cool tone lip. I matched that for the most part with cool a cool tone on my eye, and then to not let my face get too washed out, I did more of a peachy color on the cheeks. Without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. Okay, rookie. so to start off the look, I have gone ahead and primed my face using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer, this guy right here. I just used two pumps and smeared it all over my face. I use that um, when I'm using that. I don't use a moisturizer beforehand because it kind of acts as both for me and I don't want to gunk up my face with too much product. Now, we're going to be doing a very simple eye, so for this look, I'm going to go ahead and do the foundation and set all of that and then we'll do the eye and the lip since this look is based off of rockin' a bright pink lipstick. So for foundation today, I just got back from Hawaii. I tried my best not to get sunburnt. I can't tell if I got tan. Tan for me. I know. I know. But I got like sunlight which <laughs> which is which is tan for me. But anyways, um I'm going to be going in with the Maybelline foundation up to 24 hours. I'm going in in the color Fair Porcelain and yes, let's go ahead and smear this off our face. I like this because it has a pump. It kind of gives me, um, and I know this is going to look really light, but it does oxidize a little bit and also I have a lot of, um, I have a lot of pigmentation in my face. Plus two, let me reiterate the fact that I got more sun than I ever really do because I was in Hawaii. So it's going to look a little pale. Yep, and it does. It looks a little pale. But you know what? We are just going to go with it. Because I actually very much like this foundation. And even knowing, so, and this is something to keep important, you can tell it's starting to oxidize a little bit. And even knowing it still might look a little it really doesn't um, and covering up the redness in my face I feel like a lot of the times I'll hear people um, doing videos being like people are telling me my foundation is off and like sometimes it definitely is I feel like finding a perfect match for your foundation is really freaking hard but also I think sometimes people forget when you're looking to see if a foundation matches is you're seeing to, if it like matches the rest of your body like this foundation matches like my neck and chest. My arm is going to be a different color, a little bit darker, but it matches here. It's going to look really light when I'm putting it on my face because this does oxidize, but also because I have a lot of redness in my face and I want my foundation to cover up my redness, but a foundation that doesn't have red in it is going to look really freaking pale when you see it compared to the redness in my face, if that makes sense. So something to think about, you know, if you want something to think about. Because, yeah, that looks like uber paint, uber white paint on my face. But then when I blend it out, it works. And if you have a skin tone like mine where you're not, like, my skin is not paper white. But um, when I go, like, a shade down from this, a lot of the times the foundation, when it oxidizes, in particular with drugstore, um, it will get orangey. And, yeah. Orange is not a cute look. Mm -mm. Not a cute look at all. But I actually do uh, like how this 
looks. I think it's matching nicely. Okie rookie now that we have been ghosted out on um, my face, I'm going to go in with the NARS. This is just the NARS Creamy Concealer. This is in the color Light One. And I'm going to dab a little bit over my eyes. I'm going to do a very light um, highlight under the eyes with it. Um, nothing, nothing really too dramatic. Um, this is actually like the same color as the foundation. Or it'll, it'll blend in to look really similar. You have to blend this stuff quickly, otherwise it will dry down on you. But I do feel like, um, it's funny because I know this is called like a creamy concealer in the name. But I do feel like this is, um, more of like a drier concealer in particular compared to like the Tarte Shape Tape. So I think it acts as a good base for eyeshadows on the eyelid as well. And then I'm just going to finish up doing highlights by just a little bit on my forehead and a little bit on my chin. Not even doing the nose. Well, no, that's a lie. I know part of it is just like habitual stuff, but I feel like if I if I highlight one thing, then I have to highlight everything. I'm definitely a slave to the routine of doing that. I'll either highlight nothing or I feel like I will have to highlight everything because I feel like if I only highlight one thing, then it creates, I don't know, I just like, it looks funny to me. And now we are going to go ahead and set everything to set everything. I'm not using a setting powder. I'm just using the Your Skin But Better CC Powder by It Cosmetics. I like this because it's got SPF in it. I'm actually going to use the sponge in it to set my eyes because I want to make sure I'm getting a, a little bit more coverage on my eyeballs or a little bit more powder on my eyeballs than what I'm going to put on the rest of my face because I want my eyeballs to be set really well so that our eyeshadow blends nicely on top of it. There we go. You can tell too that this foundation is, the powder foundation is a little bit darker than my face foundation, so I think they'll balance each other out and we'll get something close to my skin tone. And then to set the rest of my face, I'm just going to go in with a big fluffy brush. And this is not a dense brush at all. I'm just really loosely applying the powder. The foundation that we used, or that I used today, um, it dries down not completely matte. It still has a little bit of like a tacky feeling to it. Not a lot compared to how some other foundations can be, but it does have enough where, you know, I want to set it down with a little bit of powder. And then for brows, I'm going in with the It Cosmetics brow powder thing. I got this for free at Ulta, and I started using it, and I actually really like it. It's like their universal color. Um, it's kind of an ashy brown, more of a cool-toned brown. And I have just been using it to fill in some of the little naked spots in my brow, and then also just to flick the tail out a tiny, tiny bit. This is all I've been doing for my brows. That's a step up since beforehand. All I was doing was um, just putting brow gel in them so that all the hairs went in the same direction. One of the things I liked about this is that the tip is like a really thin square. So I feel like I can really kind of sharpen the outer part of my brow really nicely and it still looks natural and so that was still really easy as far as brow routines go um but moving onwards we are now going to 
do the eyeballs. And for the eyeballs today, we are going to be using this palette right here. This is the ColourPop. All I see is magic. It was like a holiday thing that they did last year. Let me see. You can see it. Yeah, if I do that, you can see it. These are the colors on the inside. It's a really pretty palette. Today, we're not going to be using it to its full extent. Um, we're just going to be going in with this color pretty much. That's kind of it. Keeping the eyeballs really, really simple. I wasn't lying when I said that. But, do 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 do. What a brush to use. Since we're kind of color pop theme, I'm just going to go in with a flat synthetic color pop, color pop blush. Blush? Brush. Wow. And we're just going to go in with this color and apply it all over the lid. And we will be blending it out in just a second, but right now just put an even distribution of it all over the lid and try to avoid fallout like what I just did. And I have taken it a little bit above the crease and we're going to blend that out. And to blend it out, I'm just going to go in with like this fluffy, kind of like fluffy elf brush. And I'm not going to put any product on my brush at first. I'm just going to go in with a super light hand and using very light circular motions, just blend it out. And then just repeat doing that until you get the intensity of the color that you want. I want this to be a little bit darker. So I'm going to go back in again, apply some more of the same color onto my lid, and then blend it out again. So literally I'm just going to repeat exactly what we just did. And then just for a little pop of something to kind of brighten up the eye, since this is a simple eye look and I want to keep it simple, we are going to go in with this color right here. It's got a little bit of gold to it. Um, and we're just going to go in and pop that in the inner corner. And you'll see just how that opens the eye up, just like a tiny bit. Um, with my eye shape, I love doing kind of just like a smoky one color all over the lid. But it can really easily, since I have smaller eyes, it can very easily um, make my eyes look smaller closed off. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but there's a, a cat bell in the background right now. So if you hear like a clinging noise, that's what that is. You know what, let's, we're going to... Take it a little bit under the eye. And then to finish this look off, I am going to kind of blow out the um, lower lash line a little bit, going in with the same brush that we used originally to buff out the edges in the upper part. I'm going to go in once again just with that same gray color. Tap off the extra, just get a tiny bit on that brush, and just brush it along our lower lash line. I'm barely touching my eye when I do this, but it'll just kind of smoke everything out a tiny bit more. And then what we are going to do um, to kind of finish the eyes off, I think what can be really fun when you have a simple look is to pop a fun color in the waterline. So this is going to be the ColourPop color called Cry Baby, and it's just a very light lavender. And I'm only going to put it on the um, waterline when we tightline. I'm actually going to tightline with a dark brown, because when you tightline with a dark brown, it um, will thicken up how your lash line looks and it will make your lashes look fuller. And as you can see, that really just kind of opens the eyes up a little bit. And then to tightline, I'm just going to go in. I've actually been really liking this. This is a liner by Flower. I tried their liquid liner and I didn't like it. But this one is awesome. I'm just going to tightline our lash line. Not tight line, water line. No, tight line, tight line, terminology. Yeah, that, obviously not a professional makeup artist. And then now that we have got our eyes done as far as eyeliner and eyeshadow, all we are going to do is pop some mascara on. I'm going to be going with a mascara that I think gives me flirty eyelashes. It is the Telescopic by L'Oreal. And it's not too clumpy, and when you don't have eyeliner, this just gives a really nice lengthening and color to the lashes. 
And now that we have got our eyeballs done, we are going to quickly finish up. We are going to do a blush next. The color that we are using is a color pomp one. This is just what I'm using. Use whatever you want. I think it's nice though when we've got kind of more of a cool toned eye and then I'm doing a cool toned pink on the lip. I'm going to go in with a more coral blush so that, that way we're not completely washing our faces out with cool tones. We'll still have some life back. Come on camera, focus. <laughs> we'll still have some life back in the face using a blush like this. I'm not going to apply a crazy amount. I'm going in kind of with a bigger brush. Shimaya and then I'm just applying it to the cheeks. Mm. And the blush is what's going to act as like my contour for today. Um, when I'm doing like a really simple look, I'm not the biggest uh, contour person. And I like to blend even my blush and my highlighter out with a sponge. Just, you know, to make it look a little bit more natural. And then with the leftover on the brush, I'll do a little bit over the bridge of the nose and kind of connect it. I feel like that gives kind of like a nice youthful like flush back into the face. And then the next thing I do want to do highlighter today. So I put my highlighter here somewhere and I didn't do contour today, but I do want to do some fun highlighter. This is the highlighter. It's one of the ones by Physicians Formula. This color specifically is Pearl. Pretty appropriately named. It's really pretty. These do have, um, they feel like the butter bronzers and the butter blushes if you've ever used those before. And it definitely, I think it's really pretty, but it's almost a little too, maybe glittery is not the right word because it doesn't have glitter in it, but it almost is a little too glitterly for, glittery for me. I blend it out a lot when I use it, um, but you can definitely build it up to a blinding glow. But you can also do a nice natural highlight with highlight with it as well, which you can see in the camera. Do a little bit above the cupid's bow, and then the last thing that we have to do to finish this look off is the lipstick. What the whole look has been based around. So my favorite pink is the ColourPop Cosmetics called The Rabbit. I don't know if they still make it, I should check. Um, Cause they've just continued a lot of colors that I really, really liked, which kind of was a bummer. But The Rabbit is awesome. It's one of, I can't remember, the packaging has worn off on it. And I can't remember if it's a matte. I'm pretty sure it's not a matte. I'm pretty sure it's one of their ultra satins, but it's a really pretty bright purple, but it has kind of a um, blue-ish, subtle little sheen to it which you can see when I put it on I think but this is the pink that I am going with for my bright pink look I don't know what I'm gonna do when I run out of this lipstick because it's hands down like my favorite pink lipstick out there but all we gotta do now go ahead use setting spray I'm gonna do that off camera because I have carpet I'm not about to set my carpet with setting spray but we let our hair down and this ladies and gentlemen is the completed super simple about how to rock a bold lip color um in particular a bold pink but yeah if you liked this video please give it a thumbs up <laughs> i'm so awkward today if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you really liked it click that subscribe button and i hope to see you in the next video have a good day night evening wherever you are and Goodbye.